Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the TV video production program at the Forest Center. I'm Louis Bowes. And I'm Gianna Tillery. And here's the latest news we have from the Enterprise. Security measures in St. Mary's public schools have escalated at least slightly since the school shooting a year ago at Great Mills High School. On March 20th, 2018, Great Mills student 17-year-old Austin Rollins shot and killed 16-year-old Jalen Willie and injured 14-year-old Desmond Barnes. Since then, the school system safety and security department has started installing vestibules, ballistic window film, door alarms, and more cameras in public schools throughout the county. Mike Wyant, St. Mary's Public Schools Director of Safety and Security, said those installations were already part of the plan. But last year's shooting and the funding from the state Safe to Learn Act pushed those plans forward at a faster pace. Desmond Barnes, who was injured in last year's shooting, said he believes school staff are doing the best they can when it comes to safety and security. But his mother, Kim Dennis, thinks that they could do a little more. For me, the only thing they could do more is metal detectors, Dennis, who graduated from Great Mills in 1999, said. Desmond said metal detectors could make students feel uncomfortable, but Dennis thinks discomfort is worth it. Desmond Barnes is a 15-year-old sophomore who plays on the Great Mills High School Junior Varsity football team. You may know him as a student who was shot in the leg on March 20, 2018 at Great Mills High School with the same bullet that hit Jalen Willie. However, Desmond and his mother said he's much more than what happened to him on that tragic morning of March 20th, 2018. Desmond was walking in the hallway when he was shot. After he was hit, he went into a nearby classroom. Kim Dennis, Desmond's mother, received a phone call, but it was, wasn't from either of her sons. It was from another student who told her what had happened to Desmond and that everything was all right. Desmond used his own cell phone to call 911 during the recorded phone call and stated, I was just shot in my school. During the almost 15 minute 911 call, Desmond gets back on the phone and tells the operator he was hit in the back of his right thigh. My knee hurts so bad, he said. He told the operator that his leg was burning and later it felt numb. Authorities eventually arrived and Barnes was transported to the hospital. Desmond said he wasn't afraid that day. He was only worried about his injury. I never experienced this before and I don't know anyone else who has. He said, it all figured itself out when, with the help of his classmates in Ms. Colliday. Desmond enjoys doing off-season workouts with football team, exercising with his dad at the gym, doing homework and playing video games. The Woman and Tomorrow's Woman of the Year Awards were announced at the St. Mary's Women's History Month Banquet on Thursday, March 12th at the USMSM in California. Margaret Forrest and Ashley Williams were this year's winners. Ms. Forrest said that she thought they called someone else because there were so many wonderful women nominated. Forrest is the Vice President of Garvey Senior Activity Center Council. Ashley Williams, a junior at Chopticon High School, has done multiple things, such as starting a nonprofit organization with her sister called Sending Smiles. They sent about 40,000 cards to kids all over the country. Williams said, I wanted to help kids feel better when they get to the doctor's office, and it kind of blew up from there. Historic St. Mary City will commemorate the 385th anniversary of founding of Maryland on Saturday, March 23rd. With the museum's annual Maryland Day celebration, offering free admission for all. Living history sites will be open from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Plan for a variety of things to do, such as visiting the Godiah Spray Tobacco Plantation to see heritage breed cows, pigs, and chickens. Plan on take, taking a step aboard the Maryland Dove to imagine the risk taken on the original journey in 1634, exploring the reconstructed town center, the place for all government business in the 1600s. Historic St. Mary's City is a museum of living and history archaeology on the site of Maryland's first capital in beautiful Tidewater, Southern Maryland. For more information about the museum, contact the Visitor Center at 240-895 the Leonardtown Raiders baseball team scrimmaged the Patuxent Panthers on Thursday before starting the smack season this week. Leonardtown senior outfielder Nick Birch, who was first up to bat Thursday, has already committed to play at the U.S. Naval Academy. A co-captain for his final season, Birch hopes to take the Raiders as far as he can. I feel like our team is going to be really strong this year, Birch said. 
We have a lot of returners and a lot of juniors that have gotten bigger, smarter, and stronger. I'm just looking forward to the season. We definitely have a good shot. Senior left fielder David Tidings is a co-captain along with Birch. I've been playing baseball forever, and with these guys for a while now, so it's good. Tidings said, My main goal is to win a smack and regional championship in my last year with Leonardtown. I want to bring it back to the school. We have a lot of good guys. This news brief has been provided by The Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Gianna Tillery. And I'm Louis Bose. Signing, Signing off. off.